My name is Spencer Whale, and I'm a sophomore. Macbeth is being produced and presented by the Cornell Shakespeare Troupe, which is an organization which has been around for years. My co-director Sarah Myers and I met up in New York over the summer and had lunch and started talking about Hamlet and Shakespeare. And the conversation quickly turned to Macbeth, which is a play that I've always been fascinated by and also angered by. I react strongly to the concept of uh, fate and uh, destiny, and so we started talking about different ways that uh, a production could sidestep that, or rather delve deeper into it and uh, sort of give Macbeth agency and responsibility over his own actions. The backbone of this play, for me, has always been a man returning from war and having to deal with home life and the responsibilities of a husband and a politician and a warrior and the way that those three things intersect. I looked for a, a gruesome, bloody, violent war um, and I think World War I is, is what we found there, World War I being a very dirty war. When directing Shakespeare, it, it's classical work. Uh, the playwright is long dead. Um, I absolutely love Shakespeare, but the audiences are extremely familiar with his works. And so when approaching this production, we wanted to make sure that our production was unique, also keeping in line with authorial intent and translating it to the modern times, which means removing many of the su supernatural elements of the play and replacing them with um, what I've often described to my cast as sort of a post-traumatic stress disorder. Inevitably, every production of Shakespeare will be compared to another production of Shakespeare. We uh, came up with a unique cutting of the script, we deleted things, we switched some characters around, we combined characters. This particular uh, rendition or cutting of Macbeth has certainly never bored before been seen. Uh, so I play Lady Macbeth. Uh, she's the wife of Macbeth. They conspire to murder a king together. Her sort of story arc is this happens and she goes crazy and ends up killing herself. Um, which is exciting because in this production but I do kill myself on stage, it's really cool. What I like about her is she's gritty, do you know? Um, and I, I think that that gives her depth and I think that that's cool. And I'm gritty too, so. I would like to say that this role is a stretch for me, but I think that would be a lie a little bit. I don't uh, like murder people or sleepwalk. One of the reasons I decided to do this show is because Macbeth is my favorite Shakespeare play. I think it's the best written, I really do, um, and I love Lady Macbeth, so it's a real privilege to be able to do Shakespeare. You have to know every single word that you're saying, but so long as you do that, it's, I mean, it's just so much more beautiful than the way we speak now, isn't it? I, I have a hard time actually identifying with the role myself, but I think one of the things that makes Macbeth interesting as a play in general and the character itself is that it's a play uh, that I find to be political more than anything else, trying to balance his uh, true royal, uh, loyalty and nature with uh, the present time and fears. And the, and the thing about Shakespeare is that we revere it so much as the canon, and, and I think it's that that's been really, really difficult. This is one that Will, will draw in people, and this is one that has large expectations because people know it so well. Uh, well my character is Macduff, the Thane of Fife, at the same sort of status level as Macbeth, but his family uh, is brutally murdered, and he's uh, uh, and he's compelled to come back to seek his revenge against Macbeth. I don't ever really kind of think it's a stretch to play any character, just sort of um, think about how you would react to. Uh, being in, in that sort of situation. You just inhabit someone else's skin. Um, and, and I feel like I've, I haven't really been steered wrong. There's so many different ways you can do it. Like the whole sort of like mashup of the World War I and 1950s aesthetic. We tried to juxtapose the violent and the gritty and the gruesome with the most decorous home life. It, it, it's really kind of out of left field, but it, you know, it just kind of works. And like if you put it together and you get on stage, um, with this completely sort of new take on this really old idea, um, you know, it, it just kind of sings. And that Macbeth is about, uh, you know, like the desire for power and like how that corrupts people. Um, but that's not something that's like specific to Elizabethan England. You know, when we have so many Cornell students who are really oriented to trying to make uh, themselves into, you know, these career people who are really oriented to just making money. And you know that really also has a great temptation. It's focused, 
lightly or heavily, depending on how you play it, on mental health. And I think that's a sensitive issue for commercial students, and I think that that doesn't have to be what the play is all about, and by no means is it what it's all about, but playing somebody, um, you know, who loses it is, is an interesting study on, on what that is like. It's really inspired me to want to continue and really want to make this my life's work. Um, almost as soon as he finished casting, like sent out emails to the cast and said, I'm really excited to work um, with this group of people. There's some people who this is their first show, and there's some people who this is like their 20th show, but everybody on this cast is phenomenal talent. And I'm really glad I got to work with the people that I did. It's been so fun to see these people like all of all different years coming from all different parts of like, the corner. The theater department is so important to me, and I think it's so important to this school, and people don't realize it as much, but it's it's my Cornell experience would be far less uh, meaningful if, it, if, I didn't have, if I wasn't able to do this. I've never worked with such a diverse cast. There's often uh, a, a distinct separation between what is a Risley show and what is a Schwartz Center show. I think uh, one of the great things about theater is uh, it's really sort of accessible. Everyone can sort of gain a lot from it. Um, I'm really glad to have had the involvement with the theater department. That, I ha that I've had so far. I'm very happy to say that we have brought together um, an unprecedented group of talent to sort of mix together and create something new.